Okay, hello out there. Um, this trip certainly wasn't planned, but today I'm actually at the South Australian Aviation Museum here in Port Adelaide. Uh, long story short, if you have seen my recent videos or been following along my channel, I'm actually supposed to be in Malaysia right now, but uh, because of the Jetstar 787 groundings and cancellations and uh, delays and whatnot, I had to can that trip. But for now, here we are in Port Adelaide and let's go take a look, see what they got inside this museum. Now you know where you are. Yep. You just come in here. Yep. Yep. Here. Have a walk around. Where you see steps, go in, goes inside the aircraft. Wow. Okay. Yep. Okay, we've just entered the hangar here where all the planes are on display. And I can't believe that this place is only 20 minutes or 30 minutes from my house and I've never been here before. Um, I am thoroughly impressed. As you'll see, I'll just turn around, check this out. Looks like an F-18. Very cool. So I'm just gonna walk around and uh, check everything out. John behind the uh, front desk was very kind. He um, took us into the hangar here and showed us here on the, uh, where it is. So he showed us um, the way around and uh, said there's plenty of planes. We can actually go inside, go in the cockpit and take as many photos and videos as we like. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Looking forward to this. Let's go check it out. So here we have the FA-18, Royal Australian Air Force. This is amazing. I've actually never got so close to one of these aircraft ever. Over here they have all these uh, model planes. Australian, oh sorry, aircraft of the Royal Australian Air Force from 1921 to the present day. Phantom F4, very cool. Mirage. I'm still in shock that uh, I've never been here before. So just next, so just next to this FA-18, we have I think it's Pilatus PC-9. I mean, I could be cheating, so I can just look down here. Yep. Very nice. Turbo prop. Here's the uh, rear of the F-111. So I can see from uh, this section over here, it's not only aircraft, uh, but they also have a space section. As just over here, there's a bunch of rockets up against the wall. and other space exploration things, other rockets, etc. Now that's a really cool model of, oh, let's uh, see with this, if it's a certain one, this shuttle discovery. Here we are. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> I'm so surprised I haven't been here before. Far out, 31 years old, lived in Adelaide all my life and I've never been here. One says, Rockets in the Desert. Jindibik. Or some kind of drone, I guess. Yeah, target guided weapons. Anyone that uh, knows more about military aircraft and equipment, drones, whatever. I really know nothing about any to anything like that, so there's Cindy. So right now I think we are going under yep. It'll be the Canberra bomber or the English electric Canberra Canberra B2. 
Here we go. We're gonna have a look inside. Wow. The cockpit. Over here, it looks like we have an old air traffic control panel. If that's what you call it. I will have a clue. Radio display. I think it's about time we head inside one of these aircraft, I reckon. And just up here looks like we have a ramp to go up inside the Douglas Dakota. No sign here, but I'm pretty sure looking at my map, that's the one. So we'll make our way up in here. Royal Australian Air Force livery. Look at the old Qantas. There we are. All right. Nice. Looks like they've kept this in. So it looks like we can't get inside this one. Looks like it's locked. This would have been like a navigation section for the navigator. And you have the cockpit down through in there. So they actually do the uh, cockpit tours here. We're just going to be walking around on our own today. Yeah, see, so that's what we're in right now. Douglas Dakota. But that's fine. I think we're just happy walking around on our own. Oh, that's a big aircraft over there. That's the uh, Fokker Friendship. Anyways, making my way back down. Flight training Adelaide. Yep. And uh, missing half of the wing. I'm not sure where the go is there. I guess they've cut off half and they've left the outside bit. That's funny. Let's see if we can go check out the underbelly. Wow. Landing gears. <laughs> Look at this little one here. Now here's something I've never seen before. Commodore Aviation Port Lincoln SA. Check out a little cockpit in this one here. <laughs> little engines on it too. As we walk under the uh, right engine of the Douglas Dakota. Oh, this is cool. But I think now we'll walk up into the uh, Fokker Friendship. This one is probably the largest aircraft in here, I reckon. Three persons permitted. Yeah, we can go in. So right now I'm currently inside VHCAT, the Fokker F27, a 109 Friendship. It says here this aircraft first flew at Amsterdam in September 1959. Wow, this is an old aircraft. This will be, make it, wow, 63 years old. Quite large windows on this one. Let's have a look. Really large windows, actually. So 
So this aircraft has been sitting here since 2008. Uh, but it's just really nice to look through at some of these photos even and, and the information boards and look at the history of this plane and where it's been, what it's done. Have a look down here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, certainly a lot of history here. Here we have a photo on the wall. Uh, this is obviously probably within its last few years of operation when it was actually a test aircraft. As we can see with the uh, instruments just over here on the left. Yeah. The Eureka Station. John was ready to begin the final dangerous assault. Just when we're uh, entering the museum today as well, I noticed near the front counter they have a, a large section where you can actually buy some model planes. So uh, who knows, I may have to purchase myself a little gift. Um, might make me feel a little better after not being able to head over to Malaysia. Sort of uh, patch up the wounds a bit. But here we go, we can get a bit more of a uh, panoramic of the museum, just from this shot here. But anyways, I think we've pretty well looked at as much as we can in Hangar 1. And uh, now I think we'll move on and check out, see what Hangar 2 has. Okay, so we are making our way into Hangar 2. Okay, a few aircraft in here. Looks like there's a couple that we'll be able to actually get up into as well. Turbo fan. Testing, one, two, three, four, five. Here we are. So I'm guessing this is definitely one of those where you can do the uh, cockpit tours. Take a look inside the uh, cockpit there. Okay, there's another room. I thought I was in Hangar 2 now. Well, I thought that was Hangar 2 just there, but it turns out this is Hangar 2. Oh my God. Wow. This is cool. Uh, okay, so. Hangar 2 definitely has the largest aircraft, which is the uh, Orion, Lockheed PC-3L Orion. Right now we are just going under the left wing of the Orion here. We also have a de Havilland. Okay, so they even have helicopters here. Keep all types of aviation enthusiasts happy. Wow. Let's uh, make our way up into this aircraft now. Yep, the Orion. Jeez, look at the props on that. They're huge. Give me some pers perspective, Cindy. Here, you can hold my camera and I'll stand next to these so people can see how big these are.
So uh, one of the volunteers that works here actually just uh, come up to us while we're standing in the uh, Orion here and was uh, telling us about how they actually got the aircraft in here. It arrived on trucks uh, in parts uh, with, you know, the wing, the body, and uh, they had to have four cranes to balance it to bring it inside the hangar just behind me. And it just, just cleared it just to about up to here and uh, managed to bring it in and they had to winch it in and they put it on these sort of uh, tripods that they uh, engineered to keep it balanced because it's obviously just one wing right now. And then those ones over there. But it's great, this place is full of uh, volunteers. Everyone is a volunteer here, uh, keeping this place going. And uh, it's great to see the, uh, the passion that they have for the aviation industry. Now, the bloke that we just spoke to then, he was actually an aircraft, elect well, like an electrician, aircraft electrician. Electrical engineer is probably a better word for it. And uh, he was in the uh, Air Force back in the 50s. He was 16 years old when he first went into the Air Force. Let's have a look inside this helicopter now, eh? Wow. All right. Let's see what helicopter I'm in. I am in a Westland Wessex. Hello. Radio. I do apologize. I know nothing about helicopters. A lot of people probably say I don't know much about planes either, but hey, I love flying and that's all that matters to me. Wow. There will be miles and miles of uh, cables here. All right, back here. I'm actually uh, going to make my way back over in front of the Orion. I want to get a nice photo of it. Um, it's not it's not too often you get up nice and close to something like this, aside from a museum, so. All right, we've had a pretty good look around here and it's probably about time we uh, start heading, heading off, but uh, I am definitely going to come back here and spend more time here. Uh, probably in the near future. This is great, but um, and I'm probably also going to go to the uh, Check out the models that they have at the front counter there and maybe buy one. We'll see. All right I think that just about concludes the uh, tour here today at the South Australian Aviation Museum um, That was um, that was amazing. I'm definitely gonna be going back uh, Hopefully soon It's quite it's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be for one and there's a lot more aircraft than I was expecting as well so yeah, if, you, if you're from Adelaide or you're coming to Adelaide, I definitely recommend you come check this place out. Uh, it's run by a bunch of volunteers. Uh, no one's getting paid to work there. So, you know, it's, um, yeah, you can you can see the passion and the enthusiasm that some of these volunteers have as well. Uh, coming along, chatting to, chatting to you and uh, letting you know about the aircraft and uh, some fascinating facts. But uh, yeah, we'll end the video up here. I do appreciate you watching if you stayed around for this long. And uh, hopefully I won't be grounded too much longer just like the Jetstar 787s. But um, yeah, hopefully be up flying again soon, have another trip report, but uh, for this week, have to do something different. And for me, this actually, yeah, it was great. So, all right, thank you. Cheers for watching. All the best. See you next week.